Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome back to, uh, I guess what is the final installment of the Ultimate General uh, playthrough uh, as we're coming to the end of it. Um, I thought I'd kind of finish it off in like one big stream. I thought that would be pretty good just to do it. Uh, and of course we will return to the game uh, when more content does arrive. Uh, but until then, we're done, right? We're done. We're done playing. There's nothing else to do, really. So, uh, yeah, let's load in. Let's see the situation. Because it's been about half a week until I last looked at this. Um, I think things are going really well. Like, I think we do just... Like, that's the thing. Like, this probably has, like... If I was to record videos of this, it probably literally only has, like, two more episodes left, right? Because I think it will take me, like, an hour and a bit to conquer all of this. Our navy is repairing, but is more than strong enough to do what it wants. We have, yeah, these ships there. We have this navy with a first rate, which is fully repaired now. So, yeah, I think things are just, you know, like, it's, I think it's best to finish this off in a stream where we can kind of just get it done rather than just try and string it out, really. Oh, we start another one when they add, yeah. So, when more content to this game gets added, we'll 100% cover it. 100%. Uh, no questions about that whatsoever. Okay, so we have a lot of prestige as well. What do each of these do? So we're currently getting mobile, which gives me more units. And I, I like new units, so we'll rush that. Why not? Uh, that's loyalty, which is actually really important, but doesn't mean to grab it immediately. Pass unit ammunition, we don't need to grab that. Production speed, don't need to grab that. Research speed, no, don't need to grab that. And we stick that's only there, and that goes here. So we'll grab some extra copper just to fill it up. Does anyone know release date? Is it just 2024? Yeah, they said it's going to probably come in the summer. Can I love the music? Of course I can, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I've got my headphones down, down to half, so it wasn't as loud for me as it was for you guys. Uh, apologies. That should be better now. Okay, so let's talk about plan of action. So our navy is repairing. I don't think we need to wait for it to be fully repaired, but obviously the sooner it repairs, the better. Um, yeah, 105 days or whatever in Boston. <laughs> it's just going to take far too long. So we'll let it build up a bit, but we will, of course, send it out. With a couple ships just out here patrolling, winning auto resolves and stuff, which again is fine. This first rate is ready to come out. So I might bring just bring that out now. Um, I mean, I'll leave this other one here repairing. Because we do need to just, just like conquer the sea. So right now, the British do have some ships in the Massachusetts Bay, which we need to clear out. And then it's, yeah, just killing all the ships up here. The game still seems to think that the British fleet still out outnumbers us. Don't know how, but they do. Um, and getting more money might not be a bad idea, so we could buy some better ships as well. Just like fully full, full HP ones. But for now, we can just click play, go on normal speed. I think our army's... I think it's our army, our army here is... Yeah, it does need a little bit more replenishment, but it's fine. You guys can maybe do a little tick. You're there chilling. We brought these guys back to Boston to replenish as well. So a lot of my army is just simply replenishing. Which is fine, obviously. We took Hubbington as well, which is good. How's our supplies looking? Yeah, supplies looking amazing. Frank, Fort Frank has plenty of provisions. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we're looking really good when it comes to supplies. Which is probably why, but it's because winter is ending now, basically. We've got our first, first rate moving out under the command of Jimaz Moore. That's repairing. Um, yeah, we don't really have good production anywhere. I mean, Portsmouth is a little bit better. So we should probably send one of these weaker ships up to Portsmouth to repair as well. Even though it might get caught by them there, but hopefully not. We'll take the first to sell. Uh, I wouldn't mind raising funds as well quickly. Um, and let's just start researching carbines. Why not? We could probably rush that with a couple naval battle victories. And I'm going to probably actually, uh, yeah, rush for funds as well. We do kind of need money. I'll make sure I sell them first. Also, because mon money is our big problem right now. Even though we are like starting to get a lot. No, not horses. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Even though we are starting to get quite a bit from, uh, from trade. The economy in this game is still pretty messed up. 
you haven't watched the first rate yet video yet <laughs> yeah i mean it was a pretty easy nonchalant victory i think now as well we, we just probably start sinking the british ships you know like let this first rate kind of do its thing uh cool so that ship gets into port now good 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 can start repairing slowly but surely uh we don't need to repair these all the way just like up to like 90 percent and they probably go out you know uh, I think that'll be more than enough. Uh, fine. Yeah, we're making 1,200 gold now through through that, which is good. Uh, we will continue to go back. Uh, I guess new general. We'll just have four generals. I mean, we don't really need them, though. We've got grenadiers. We've got skirmishers. Uh, yeah, like, we don't really need any of this, really. Guard. I guess we'll work, work our way towards guard companies. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do it. Uh, we have a bit of building material as well. Is there anything we can upgrade? We don't need officers, at least for now. I guess any shipyards we can upgrade, we will. Can we upgrade that can? So we'll upgrade these to dry docks. Yeah, enough for that. Okay, cool. Because uh, they've actually changed it so that whenever you upgrade to, to dry docks, it actually improves the repair speed of the Navy, which is nice. The first rate is getting over here as well. Yeah, I'm probably going to come into here in the first rate and then just start clearing out seas. The army, I think we're just going to move the army now. Honestly. Yeah, let's do it. So let's bring these guys up to Fort Franks. And I think we're just going to hit the British whilst we can. Whilst they're weak. Um, and you guys are basically fully replenished. So we'll bring you guys up as well. Yeah, you guys come up to like Thalmouth. We'll leave boss. We'll leave the south undefended. But we should be fine. This, is actually, this ship is actually almost repaired as well. Yeah, the repair speed at New Haven is insane. So it's actually maybe not a bad idea to take back like a ship just to here because it'll probably repair faster going all the way back than it will elsewhere, you know? So we'll do that. Yeah, repairs everywhere, which is nice. Uh, oh, nice ra raid on um, Nassai. The American forces launched a surprise attack. The capital of the British held Bahamas. The primary goal of the raid was to secure urgent needed materials. We gain ammunition. We gain 600 watt brown vessels. And we gain some four pounders. Not bad. I mean, we don't need guns now. It's kind of a funny thing. We have 1,500 Virginia muskets. We have 1,000 brown besses. We have 700 United States muskets. I think we're now making the Pennsylvania musk uh, rifle even. Yeah, we are. We're only making six a day, but we're making them. Realistically, we could probably use something like that just to make nine a day. Um, yeah, which is pretty disgusting. Oh, we're, we're out of money. We're out of money. Has that just killed... That, that's just killed all... Oh, I hate it that the game does that. When you run out of money, it, like, destroys all of your sales and gets rid of crew and stuff. But there's, like, like no indication that you're actually going to be running out of money. Um, so let's just sell all the four-pounders. We don't need them. I don't think I have anybody with four-pounders. Uh, we have three-pounders. We have some six-pounders. We also have a mortar as well. Yeah, but, like, the economics of the game is are just pretty fucked like you just lose money and gain money randomly to be honest but of course that's why the game is in early access so it is what it is um yeah so now they all have to like crew back and stuff which is fine cool so you guys have arrived now yeah you guys have arrived cool so let's take these these troops let's take four of them or well, we'll just join these guys into sorry we'll join these guys into a brigade really quickly yeah so you guys join a brigade um, that's fine. You guys join the brigade. Yeah, cool. So that's that brigade. I and mean, then you guys can join up with that. Nice. Some donations. We needed that. Cool. So that's 1,600 men again. They're not fully strength, but we don't need them to be. And then we have you. You can join the brigade. And then we'll take the soldiers out of Fort George as well. Um, oh, you actually need an officer as well. So actually you go inside there. And we'll go and give you an officer really quickly. Um, like so. We actually do maybe need officers. Did I just put like a famous... I'm pretty sure he's a famous general as well. I just put him in command of that. We got you guys coming up as well to help reinforce. So yeah, we have... We have about three and a half thousand men now. Which should be enough to take all of this. Hold the forts down. And we're, and we're good. You love my wallpaper? I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. We're in... We're fighting. And actually, fairly decently... Oh, is that ship coming back? Yeah. I um, mean, we can sink these ships pretty easily. Should we fight it? Yeah, let's sink some British ships. Let's sink them. 
Because, I mean, we're, we're actually pretty beaten up, to be fair. But so are they as well. Uh, let's go battle sails. I mean, realistically, we just need to hit them hard. A nice little good volley along their broadside should be enough to sink them. Like that, wow. We just set that ship ablaze. I mean, it was battered anyway. Uh, maybe we will try and capture some of these ships to sell them. You know, we do need money pretty desperately. Um, and let's move into the wind uh, to help try and protect us. We've got up to full sails as well. How many guns do they even have on these ships? So yeah, like maybe like eight. Eight on either side. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on each side of the ship. We have like 40 on each side of the ship. So good luck. They are going for my sails though. They are smart. Let's focus in on that ship now. Let's see what one, one broadside does to it. Oh my god. We disabled some of their cannons. We destroyed half their armor. And now they're having to bilge. And we're about to come flying behind them with another volley. And they're actually pretty much routing now. Yeah. We'll just hit the other side as well now as they turn. Yeah, ships in this game are pretty crazy. Like, if you've got a weaker ship, you are just basically screwed. Because your cannons just can't pierce the deck of any ship, so. Let's get another little broadside here. The good thing is as well, their ships are kind of stuck in the wind a little bit as well. Yeah, like, we're firing like 48 pounders, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, how we just demasked them there? Perfect. Okay, so we might try and capture this ship. Yeah, they surrendered. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we just... I mean, they're going to surrender pretty quickly. I just don't want the extra crew to get here, you know. Nah, let's just sink them. Screw it. This ship probably will need some repair. But let's just sink them. Let's just commit some war crimes. Why not? Jackie Fish 2024. Let's commit some war crimes. <laughs> they're literally stuck as well. So they should just surrender realistically. Mega Smashy has an okay penetration on my ship. Like, 30 damage is not bad. Uh, we'll just match their speed as well now. No need to do anything crazy. They're turning into me as well, but mad lads. Okay, they lost their front mask now as well. So we can we can we can just sit in front of them. Yeah, literally go down to no sails. Is this considered a, a war crime, do you think? Do you think this is considered a war crime? There you go. I mean this definitely is considered a war crime. That's definitely considered war, a war crime. <laughs> Lever boys have, have, their, have their pound of flesh, though. Would you do another campaign with a handicap? Probably not. I think I'll wait until this gets a big update, you know, until we have the next year of the campaign. War crimes weren't invented. True. So we lost four crew. We sunk three of their ships. Again, it doesn't give us any financial gain, but we need to whittle down the British Navy just so these small ships can't just run around. And we have so much money. So yeah, this ship, this is coming back to port, right? And this is this ship should be going over here, no? Yeah, this ship should be coming back here, but I guess because it got engaged. Uh, okay, cool. So that should be all the British ships in this. No, oh my god. We just engaged something. Oh, baby. A third rate. I mean, we should probably take this, right, for the crew? So let's do it. We should probably take this ship and sell it. And we get to see what a first rate is made of. Oh, my God. Look at it. Look at the first rate. It looks pretty beautiful. Okay, so we're going into the win, which is good. I probably should let the auto resolve tick a little bit just to whittle down their crew, but it's fine. Okay, so they're going to be coming at me, I think. We'll go into normal shock because I don't want to damage the ship. And we'll just storm them. Look how many officers we have on the ship as well. Holy crap. We take six officers. That is crazy. Okay, so they're going to be turning into the wind. Somehow they can turn into the wind way faster than me. Probably because I didn't have my battle sails. I was on battle sails and not normal. That's fine though. Okay, we should be able to get a nice little rake down the, the part of the ship. Killed a couple crew. They're going to turn in on me. We'll take a little bit of damage here. They're going to turn, which is good. Uh, oh my god, we should have just straight out board this. I mean, we're so much faster. We have so many more sails, I think. Yeah, nice.
Nice. Uh, cool. And we just bore them straight up. That's that, that's that easy, baby, when you have a first rate. It's that goddamn easy. And we're losing like... We're losing like a couple. We lost, what, 200 crew? Yeah, it's like 250 crew plus the 150 we have to send over. Uh, yeah. Send over the prize crew. Boom. Nice. We'll go back to port and probably... Maybe... Actually, maybe we sell one of our other ships. Maybe we sell one of our other ships. Uh, and we kind of do it that way. One of the weaker ships. Because this ship is basically... Um... This ship is basically uh, fully repaired, right? Yeah, we literally didn't do anything here. It just needs crew. So what's our most damaged ship that we have? I mean, these are all 90s. Yeah, probably this one, right? This is 65. It's not repairing anytime soon. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, you guys just need to go back to somewhere with good crew. Yeah. So we'll go back to Boston with these guys. They can get their crew back. And we'll just send them out and start clearing. The British Navy is... Okay, the British Navy is now equal to us already. We're doing a good job, boys. Our sea routes should be pretty well protected. Yep. Uh, cool. And then we can just maybe put like a ship or two out here, you know. Just to cover, cover it. Uh, yeah, so you guys go back to port. We'll need to make sure we sell that ship. Sells for 13k, which is not great. But it's the cannons that make us the most money. Like, that's 10k. That's 6. That's another 2. And that's all of them, yeah. So we, we made pretty much double the price from the cannons. Oh, yeah, my army as well. I forgot about that. Um, so, yeah, you guys form a brigade, please. Oh, Phrase is actually really beaten up. Yeah, Phrase is actually really beaten up. So then you two just form a brigade. And then you guys come up here as well. We'll let Phrase, like, continue to build up. Imagine this IRL, you'd have the third rate, you'd pee yourself. Yeah, but can't, like, wouldn't wouldn't the, wouldn't the smaller ship be able to outrun the bigger one? Like, oh, fine, because they're so much lighter. I guess they have less sails, so I actually don't know. I, I assume they'd be fine, you know? Um, so let's give these guys... Let's give these guys better reload speed, why not? We're, we're, we're going to be sinking a lot of the British ships now anyway, so... Let's just make some of our ships into, like, big old, big old boys. Isn't this ship supposed to be coming? Didn't I send this ship back, like, a long time ago? Let's keep on, like, engaging British naval vessels. Not necessarily the amount of sails for ship, for sailing ships, that is. Yeah, like, I assume a smaller ship would just be able to out, outpace the bigger ones. So yeah, you got you and Pot, you guys meet up into a brigade and then we're we're good to go. I'll let this ship come. Yeah. Yeah, so you just be able to outmaneuver the bigger ships. Cool. Let's push up to Halifax then. I want to take this fort because that basically uh cuts off a lot of the supply coming in from like Quebec and stuff. I mean, we already have cut it off, but then we can station a unit at Halifax and then we can just focus on these and then split across the forest into Quebec. Cool. Yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty good here. Uh, have we already the music? Let's just set the music back. Oh, give me a second as well, guys. I'm I'm currently playing in a async TI4. Um, so I'm just seeing. Uh, do I just pass on this agenda? Sorry, give me one second. Am I not playing right? I am playing. We'll pause it quickly. Uh, I'd throw them speed up for everybody else. Uh... Okay, no ends. No more wens. No more afters. Yeah, it's currently the thing. It's a really crazy, crazy, like, bot that you play on Discord. And it's like updates and stuff. It's really wild. If you know what Twilight Imperium is, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't. <laughs> anyway, I'll just do that so everybody can 
get on with it whilst I'm streaming, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, back, back to the good stuff. Back to the good stuff. Um... Okay, cool. So, oh god, the army's engaged. I wasn't paying attention. You guys are reinforcing. You guys actually just stop at four francs for now. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very small army. It'll probably rout as soon as we dive into the battle. So, let's just dive into the battle and, uh, yeah, get them to rout, I guess. And we can move on. Okay, so we actually start off touching each other. Oh my god, imagine starting the battle like this. I mean, they're already routing, but these cannons are immediately going to open up. How brutal is that? I can't uh, move any of my units as well. What? Like, I... oh my god. Yeah, that is, that is insane. These cannons just immediately start doing their thing that is crazy there we go okay i can move now yeah and these cannons are just opening up here okay cool uh so you guys maybe just shift around and we just have the soldiers inside of a fort which we can just kill what are you guys doing wow that was insane yeah you guys hit that you guys keep trying to make this all route that's artillery for you uh, you focus down the, the green coats as well. Where's our general at? Back here. We actually have some cavalry as well, which I guess we all use to uh, use to try and focus down this artillery. We lost a unit back there. I guess I was a bit too cocky. The cannons are doing their thing though, for sure. Okay, yeah. Just finish off this blob quickly. Once they're dealt with, we're fine. Uh, you guys go after that. Reinforce with that. You guys turn and fight that, please. Guys, charge him, please. And you guys help out. There's some gem rover as well. Yeah. This was not a battle worth worth fighting. I mean, it's good because we get to kill them, right? Should kill the green coats, please. And we minimize casualties pretty heavily, but. Oh, nice. And they just route. Perfect. Cool. So get over here if you guys can. Uh, and you got obviously kill the cannons. Kill the cannons. You guys kill that and finish them off, please. And then you guys hold fire to conserve ammunition. Yeah, nice. Uh, go take the fort as well, because I'm not sure if there's any ammo in there. But yeah, all the cannons hold fire. Man, what a, what, a, what a setup of a battle. That couldn't have been any more of a free win. Than it was, man. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, cool. So that was a pretty clean victory. Again, the British are going to retreat, hopefully back to Quebec. That's fine with me. Because the good thing is as well, if we cut the British off at Quebec as well, their supply lines will be completely gone. Oh, a lot of them surrender. Yeah, loads of them surrender as well. Nice, yeah. Okay, cool. So they have some back here in Norwich. That is literally it. And they surrender as well. Amazing. So we'll get this loot. Uh, I guess I'll bring up my wagon. Yeah, I bring up my wagon. You guys come in and basically take Fort Halifax. And we're just going to push over. How's the Navy doing? Are they fully replenished yet? No, you still need a little bit more time. We'll give them a couple more days. How can you get involved in testing the game? Uh, you can buy it over on their website right now and start playing what is available. Um, yeah, so you can do that. Uh, yeah, you guys make your way up there. But I guess you guys start making your way over. Why not? We got supplies from there. I guess we'll push you guys up here as well to take Fort Halifax. We don't really need to be back. We're really going to be breaking through our lines here. I doubt it. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, the navy. We just need. We don't need to be fully. We don't need to be fully stocked up. 
So what we can do as well is we can leave one of these ships and just bring it over here to start patrolling this sea region just to give us more more scope you know just to start covering these sea regions a little bit more yeah it's not on steam right now it's just on their their launcher uh, yeah it's like pre-early access coming to steam later um later this summer i think they said it's arnold over there Supplies are out, but the army, the battalions are, are fine, so that's all good. All right, one of you stay in there, please, and one of you patrol here. So you patrol, and you patrol that region. will be perfect. Thank you. Oh, we got uh, that's a trade ship there. We're hunting. Nice. All the crews back there as well. Good, good, good. Yeah, so you guys conquer that fort, please. And yeah, that's all they've got. That's all you can muster, Saramon. Oh, no. We'll take the fort first, and then, yeah. Unless their navy completely cut off. Perfect. Yeah. You're just, so if you're, if you're joining, watching this for the first time, you're basically joining at the end of an episode. Oh, yeah. We also got these guys as well. The New Jersey. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, let's give them some six-pounders. Why not? And let's give them... Do we not have enough six-pounders? Oh, we need nine. Wow. Jesus. No, we oh we lack we don't have any civilian muskets. Luckily, we have seventeen hundred uh, Virginia brown besses and whatever else you need. So, don't worry about it, brother. So we can give these guys back for six pounders. Yeah, why not? Apparently, we still have civilian muskets selected. We don't. Maybe it just messed up. Give me a second. Let me redo it. Maybe. Um, yeah, so let's just give all of these, yeah, Virginia, uh, Virginia, Virginia, oh, Virginia, and we just apply that, boom, so they've all got better guns now, boom, then we want to give them um, a skirmisher company, and we can give these guys Pennsylvanian rifles, and then we can have an artillery company with six pounders, boom, nice, okay, cool, so they're going to be fat, that's going to be a fat old unit. Away with you, vile beggar. Yo, thank you so much, Bellboys, for the ten dollar donation, man. I really appreciate that. It will pop up on the screen in a second. It should. I don't see why it why it wouldn't. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my man. Thanks for the information. No problem. If you have any other questions, feel free just to ask in chat. Either me or someone else will uh will get there. And yo, Squiddy, he's been twenty three months. So close. So goddamn close. Oh, there you go. Boom, right there. Uh, so close to the, the two years, Goody. Thank you so much, man. I hope you're doing well. Cool. Let's move in now. Hope you're doing well, and I hope you're painting your Warhammer. For anybody who doesn't know as well, um, it's my 30th birthday next weekend. Um, the reason I say that is because uh, I might do some Lethal Company with the boys again. Um, but I'm trying to get all my videos done because I'm, I'm like busy all next weekend. So we'll just have to see how that does um shake out basically but yeah turning 30 the big 3-0 no comment every you, you every every day every day you disappoint me squiddy until one day where you don't it's like goodwill hunting you know one day that warhammer will be painted unleash our boys ha sorry i just fired so many cannons at that skirmisher unit 30 years young. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Okay, you guys move up, boom. Routed them, good. I mean, I'm just going to smash the fort with cannon, right? Oh, they just... Yeah. That's one way to do it, boys. That's one way to do it. I don't care as well. They can run. They might surrender. Wherever they're going to run to, it doesn't matter. As I said, at this point in the campaign, it is literally clean up, you know? You're 29 in 23 months. Yeah, it's not really something that bothers me, honestly. Like, I don't really care. Did I leave my cavalry behind? Or are they in here somewhere? Oh, they're here, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, it's not really something that bothers me, honestly. Can they? I was going to push them back to there. That's fine. Couple prisoners. Uh, Yeah, and we can just engage them like that. They'll auto-break, and they should probably surrender if we break them again here. Nice. Cool, the massive entirety of the south completely wiped out. 
Uh, and then we just start pushing to Quebec and take the rest of Canada. I wonder what's the fastest someone is, uh, has completed this as well. It's probably super quick. It's probably like in the first year of the war before the war even really breaks out. Look at that as well. They're just running at me and immediately breaking. The line of cannons is too much. Yeah, literally. They get a volley off, I guess. It's not bad. Yeah, okay. I'll kill a couple more of them. Boom, yeah. We'll just let them route, you know. Like, where are they going to route to, right? He just got done watching Napoleon. How was it? It's not really a... It's not really a movie for me, I think. So I haven't seen it. But I heard, you know, not very good things about it, basically. We can do the mod pack quick made up. It allows us more people. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as I said, if I can get all my videos done, um, or at least ahead of the curve, then I'm down. Wait, did they not? They just get to stay in there? It's pretty annoying. Thousand men there as well. Uh, let's send a unit back. Do we have any reserves anywhere? Falmouth doesn't. I guess maybe we could build like a recruiting house here. And upgrade that. No, we don't have enough resources now. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So these ships are going to be prepared very soon now. And we can just send these out to start clearing. We're clearing out all of this southern part. Yeah. Cool, nice. It's super depressing by the end. <laughs> oh no. Oh good as well. We got uh, we got a brig. Where did that spawn in? Oh, nice. This is fully repaired as well. Perfect. Get out of here. Um, get out of here. Yeah, you get get out of here. I guess we can send a ship home. Like it's probably faster to send a ship all the way home than not. Oh, a brig is here. Cool. So once this ship has cleared this out, we can then use it just like to cover a sea region, basically. You go home and repair. You're coming out to help support one of these regions. Nice. Um, you took Boston before June. Nice. Yeah, I feel like you can. I feel like Boston's not a problem. It's everything else that spawns from Boston, right? You know. Can we just charge this and get them killed? Okay. Head back down here then. Let, let them retreat. Like, I literally don't care if they want to retreat. That's fine with me. Like, where are they going to go to? Like, up here? That's fine with me. Oh, uh, we kind of need our Navy to catch up as well, you know? Luckily, money is, like, fine. Oh, yeah, we also have these guys as well. Cool. So, let's start bringing them up. I mean, I could start marching an assault here, but I feel like what I'm going to do is, like, I'm literally just going to take all of this and just wrap down. So, let's get the New Jersey up here. Yeah, like, I feel like that's what we do. Is we just, like, wrap down. Alright, cool. So they're making their way up. And they have a bonus perk already as well. Nice. The Navy's coming up. The fleet is about to be fully repaired, right? Yeah, fleet is now fully repaired. So they can go into this siege region and start clearing that up. You guys have cleared that up, which is good. Didn't make them surrender. Okay, cool. So cavalry's taken, but oh, he did surrender. Nice. Okay, cool. You guys just rest up here then. Uh, you probably come down here because you might be able to get some more provisions that way. You guys get stuck in there. Navy can replenish there. You get in there. Cool. So we'll, we'll take like... A day or two to basically replenish get our get our bearings in our big boy fleet of our uh, our first rate and our third rates are now moving out this ship doesn't need to repair what am i doing just like get in this region get in this region and we immediately engaged oh my god oh my god okay that's actually a scary battle okay we need to bring our fleet back first things first though imagine 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 being this and you're fighting a goddamn two sloops against a fucking first rate and a third rate. That's funny. Uh, the British actually do have decent navy here. Two, like, decent ships. They're going to they're gonna do a lot of damage to this one. Yeah, they're, like, smashing me. Hopefully we can get out of there and get out, like, get back. 
cool. So let's bring this ship back to obviously deal with these. And like, unfortunately, we're going to engage the other ship, which is annoying. Okay, you need to get back to port ASAP. And then you need to come back and hunt that fleet. Um, yeah, hunt, hunt the enemy ships, please. I mean, ideally, we want to probably then now send this ship all the way back. Like, this is the ship, actually, that goes into repair there, I think. Oh, um, they got caught. Oh, my God. The British have so many ships here. Yeah, the British have seven ships. Holy crap. Uh, maybe you go into there, then? Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so we engage the main fleet. Okay. And then there's another smaller fleet here. Hopefully, the ship can survive and just repair back. Where are you guys going? Can you guys go up here, please? Meet us up here. Okay, well, we got some ships to kill. Um, do we let the auto-resolve play out a little bit? Probably. Because we must win that auto-resolve, right? And then we just capture both of them, I guess? How's the British Navy? Have they got their ships back? No, so we still have equal navy. So if we sink all these third rates, we're going to be in a good situation. Um, I mean, officer of a henchman's cannon has been killed. No. How many crew members do they have? 500, 600. I mean, obviously that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I think as of right now, they haven't said if you buy the game, if you get it again on Steam. I don't think that's something that they've mentioned. So I would as I would go into it thinking you're not gonna get the game if you on Steam again if you purchase it here. It will still be the same game, of course, but you just won't have it on Steam. You'd have to use their launcher. I would go into it thinking that. And then maybe they do, you know. Then maybe you do get pleasantly surprised. Oh fuck, we, this battle was raging on. Uh cool, now let's go. Okay, this is a big battle to win. This is we're gonna sink a lot of the British ships, but we're also gonna take a lot of damage here as well. Luckily. Yeah, we're going against the wind. <laughs> My god. Uh, so they have 400 and 500. Okay, so... Maybe we sink one and try and capture one, I guess. Up to battle sails, please. Okay, yeah, let's go up to battle sails quickly. Uh, to be fair, though, the quickest way is just to board and kill both of them. But, yeah. We're going to probably take some, some damage. I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just sink this front one. Yeah, and then we just board and take this one because that's going to be worth a lot. Look at these brave 65 soldiers charging towards us. You heading off now, Squiddy? Right, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, what soundtrack are you listening to? Just a paradox. A paradox soundtrack. Just a Paradox soundtrack. I mean, if they're going to give me e easy boards, then we will just board them. I assume they're not, though. Uh, we'll go on cannon for this ship. Like, we'll go on cannon for this ship and try and board it. Because shooting cannon at them will also withdraw their uh, morale. And we'll try and board them. And then the first rate, I guess we'll just go and kill this with, with chain. Not with chain, sorry, with great. My god, if this sloop gets... Tickled by one of my front cannons is over. Brave of them though. You gotta give them credit. They are they are going for it. So let's try and cut in so that we force them. I mean again, we force them into the wind, which is obviously good for them. Um But still it's fine. Yeah, how's it going, bad boy? Welcome to your first stream of 2024. Hopefully it'll be one of many. Uh let's just go cannon here. We're just gonna bombard this. Ooh, a little bit of damage, nothing crazy. Something like that, please. Oh my god, this poor sloop! It doesn't know what's about to hit it! Fire everything! Surprisingly, it did well. Somehow, it's still standing. Somehow, it's still being chilling. Look at it. It just took about 100 guns. There we go. Okay. There we go. 
All right, cool. Go back to Grave now. Uh, luckily, this ship is, like, stuck in the wind, so that's good for us. Uh, let's not hit into that. You guys, as I said, try and board it. Oh, my God, we're just, like, hammering, doing some more war crimes. I love it. Are you? Can you really call yourself an American if you don't commit war crimes on the regular? Okay, yeah, you guys board back now. Yeah, board back. They should be able to kill that fine. And then we just have to deal with this ship. Which again, I might just capture again. It does lose us crew, but we have a lot. From a Brit, wow. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hey, we, ain't, we, ain't, we only commit atrocities in... I mean, everywhere. The, the entire world. They should bear win that as well. We're actually, like, not winning that. Especially because they're about to get 60 more crew as well. I'm going to turn and just fire in. Yeah, we did win. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So now the first rate can go and conquer this. Uh, we'll send over a crew member. Boom. We'll obviously sell one of the ships. And... Uh, and keep and probably keep this one. Let's go back onto grape, please. You guys can both go on grape. You can sail off into the sunset. I mean, you can come in here. Uh, yeah, I want to get a, a couple volleys off before we do. Kill a couple crew, just kind of give a bit more shock factor. And when we're going to make our way in here. Take a little bit of damage, but the first race armor is so thick. You watch Demon Slayer for the first time? Yeah, Demon Slayer is great. But I, I didn't really enjoy the third season. I've, I've read it. I've, I've finished it. I've read it and finished it. I didn't really enjoy the third season, if I'm completely honest. But I, the, the second season is like one of the best seasons of anime ever. For like a seasonal anime. It's so good. But yeah, the third, in, in the anime, in the manga, the, the third season of Demon Slayer is like kind of just so short. And I feel like they kind of strung it out. The flashbacks don't feel so painful in, in, in the manga because it's just a couple pages. Whereas in the anime, it's like the entire episode. All right, boom. That's two more third rates we don't have to worry about. And, and most importantly, it's one less sloop we don't have to worry about. They still have a four set ship. Hell yeah, that. But we have all the other ones as well. I love the auto resolve to smash these guys down. I think we lost that ship as well. How annoying. Yeah, we did as well. Yeah, we did as well. Oh, nice. These guys have it up a little bit. Nice. Yeah, Rengoku is like a super dope character. They'll sink that. Give me my prestige back. Do I have that other ship sailing back? I don't. I think I lost it, annoyingly. Yeah, cool. So we'll sink that. Again, I'm tempted just to dive in and fight it just to kill them, but we need crew. They have no crew as well. Yeah, we just have to go in and win these. Uh, this will be the quickest way just to finish the British fleet. And just by capturing them, it's like, it's so simple. Like, how much... They have 300 crew, yeah. Not that these guys have any crew, but they, they can still fire a like, chain and get out of there. I mean, you probably just need to run. And then the third rate, first rate just comes over. Again, this is really costly when it comes to officers. Like, that's what's killing us, is, like, having to replenish all of these guys. But it's, like, so good not to have... Like, it's so good to do this, just so that... Again, we can sell the ship some money if we need it, not that we really do. Oh, uh, taking a bit more damage there. Sales are super easy to replenish, though. Yeah, especially once they take some uh, some some damage from my like big guns, where we're fine. Yeah, these aren't going to be difficult naval battles at all. Like we, we've won the naval engagement for sure. Good job. Come around 
this side as well if we need to. Got him. Hit him with a little bit of chain as well as we go. And boom, cool. Nice. Um, so let's go back. We'll sell some crew. We'll probably sell a couple of these ships and keep the, the less damaged ones. I didn't. I don't really watch much TV, honestly. I'm more of a streamer than a, like a streamer fan than a, a, a tv -er fan, honestly. Oh, can we upgrade that again? Oh, nice. We can go up to a shipyard. That'll be pretty big. Let's do it. Uh, okay, cool. So, this ship can be sold. And this ship can be sold. And we'll keep the rest. We need cr massive crews, obviously. Um, let's also not repair a hole for a day and we're focused on sales, I think, everywhere. And we'll keep this ship because it's barely damaged. Uh, yeah, we'll just make everyone good at shooting. Like, I don't really care about anything else now. We just want to sink. We just want to sink ships. And we have 180 officers. Like, that's not something we have to worry about. Um. Yeah, and the British Navy is weak. Yeah, we, we basically won the naval war. I think now. Uh, you guys are still marching, apparently. Get your asses up here. Get up to Halifax. Uh, have you guys had some rest? Yeah, you guys have had some rest. You got some good ammunition. So let's take you guys up there. And I guess we'll let these guys rest. Like, I can't imagine they have too much up here. A thousand men. So let's maybe take a full battalion. Uh, of someone who's actually semi-strong. Yeah, let's send like you. Because you guys are, again, still beaten up. But they must be beaten up as well. And then what do they have up here? I'm interested to see what they have up here as well. Well, they're reinforcing with, like, all their crappy reserves. Yeah. Okay, they just have crappy reserves here. You guys join a battalion? We're going to need everybody then. Uh, yeah. Luckily, these guys are actually fully replenished. Cool. So what we can do... I wonder if it's because... I wonder if it's because... Is there any map mode to kind of know recruits? There isn't, I don't think. Oh, we should also... Again, when we get more production material, we should also be... Um, we should also be building... We've got Carmen workshops everywhere, right? Yeah, we don't actually have one here. Wow. Awesome. Oh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, this actually might rebel if we don't stick a garrison in it. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's just put it into it then. I don't know how it's rebelling. There's no one in it. Cool. That'll, that'll sort them out then. Okay. This should be enough, I think. They actually have quite a few men, but they're all so weak. There's actually a lot of men. Okay. Sales are almost... Yeah. Sales are almost done across the board. Where did that other unit go? I'm so lost where it went. Oh, it's here. Uh, let's bring you guys over here then. You guys can have your first proper battle then. Oh, we need to leave the unit here as well. These bloody traitors. Yeah, it's only 4% loyal. Okay. Uh, let's bring over another unit then to stick into there. Everybody's fully supplied, which is good. We have some cavalry. Yeah, it's actually with some good men here. I think I'll just bring up the, yeah, the 400 there. And we've got the 600 here. They're exhausted, but they'll get over here and they can rest. And that should be enough. Because again, these guys are all just very wounded, weakened. But you also do still want a good battle as well, you know? It's not like we just want the easiest battle in the world. Cool, some more money. We'll take that. Oh, yeah, we need to sell all the ships as well. You've had to see our, our money skyrocket. It might be worth just honestly buying a few smaller ships just to, again, spread out. Because, yeah, 21k, 12k. 
Oh my god, so much money. 70k. Yeah, look at that, wow. Like, we could just buy a bunch of Diana classes. Wow, but actually still, we could only buy three of them. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we just don't need ships, actually. We're fine. And you guys arrived just in time. Cool. Okay, so we'll let these guys rest up. Get their conditioning back. What are these? Ah, we don't need them. We need more guns and more guns, but yeah. We'll let these guys rest up properly. Uh, we are taking attrition slowly. So then we have about the same... We actually have more men than us. Wow. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Yeah, look at that. So many just absolute shredded units. I mean, so am I as well. It's not like I have a lot either. One second. Okay, so let's set this one up. So we're going to probably want to fall back because this is not going to be the easiest battle. Like, granted, they are battered. They are bruised. But it's not going to be the easiest battle in the world. So let's set up. We actually don't have that much cannon either. Wow, we have, like, barely any. We have another set here. Okay, so we'll bring you guys into the flank. Let's bring these guys off to the left. And you guys kind of act as a support. Do you guys have good guns? You guys have hunting rifles. Okay, let's just throw you guys up into the woods then. And we'll bring this cannon back. Spread you guys out a little bit more. Ideally, what I want to do is I... Pro we want to bring this cannon back as well. Ideally, what I want to do is I probably want to try and combine a bunch of these units together, you know? If I can. And just have my fat line of uh, cannons in the center. Oh, we've got units over here as well. Okay, cool. Good thing I'm bringing some units over here as well. But again, remember, everybody has good guns. Oh, wow. Okay, some of my units actually still have civilian muskets. We need to change that. <laughs> we need to change that ASAP when you guys are coming up as well. Like, these are our new units as well. So I think this is what the game really needs a new ad addition to. Is I think it needs more, um, more like customizability in your units. Like being able to choose what type of units you have and stuff, I think, are really cool. So, like, being able to choose their armor and stuff, I think, would be dope. You guys are getting hammered, even at eighty percent. You guys should be able to snipe the crap out of them, I would assume. Okay, so again, look at all these small units of like 30 men, you know. Uh, you guys can get some conditioning back, of course. Our cavalry is going to be invaluable here. And we're just going to set up. Okay, remember, we could still lose this battle, so we don't want to be too, like, too cocky. But we should also be fine. Uh, you guys probably should turn now. I mean, realistically, actually, you guys come all the way back. You get, uh, but the nice thing is we can still shoot our way out of a lot of these situations. Uh, you guys fall back now. You bought me enough time. You slowed up their formation. Okay, definitely kill them. Definitely kill them. We should wipe like a large portion of the British army here. How fresh are you guys now? Mm, not great. But also not bad. Oh, and these guys have Pennsylvania muskets as well. I'm excited to see their efficiency. Hey, how's it going, Jackson? Welcome. Give it a go, boys. Why not? Give it a go. Why not? Charge. Just charge in. Yeah, kill all of us. Why not? We'll see how the kill cavalry is really made of. Oh, they actually do have some big units here as well. We need to make sure we finish them off. So the nice thing is, a lot of the time, what's going to be happening is their units are just going to straight up shatter and break. Because we have so many small units. Like, they'll just lose too many and just be gone. Cavalry's doing an okay job. They have so much cannon back here as well we'd love to capture. 
Uh, let's pull these guys back. Let the other boys take over. I did kind of give them the forest, which is probably pretty stupid of me, but... If we lose this battle, I'll, I'll probably just OF4 and leave, leave the game, you know? <laughs> uh, so they're out flanking me, so let's bring over a couple more of our units. They have, they have a lot of units, but we're also losing a lot of units as well. Cavalry finally broke annoyingly. Um, so let's bring over some more of the New Jersey boys to help deal with this. We have reserve lines, which is all good. The center is completely collapsed now. So the reason why the Continental Cavalry... God damn, there is a lot out on my flank here. The reason why the Continental Cavalry isn't as good as their weapons. The British are using, like, sabers, and you're using, like, bus uh, muskets with, like, a, with, a, with a bayonet on. So if you can get enough of the... Uh, sabers, and yeah, you'll do as much damage as the British Cav. Oh, the British have mortars here as well. Wow. Okay, let's bring these guys around this flank. Let me see some more skirmishes here. Yeah, the center is like completely opened up now. Focus in, though. We obviously want to make sure that we do finish these guys off. Probably should retreat from this side as well. But we'll keep on going for now. Yeah, we need to crush their, their, their position right here. How can you get sabers? Uh, I guess from battle loot? Oh my god, our cannons are getting hammered as well. Sorry, I need to probably focus in now, quickly. We have our, our cavalry fully routed, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys focus in on that. We need to start pushing there. Uh, yeah, this is going to lose. But I also don't want to retreat. Like, if I retreat, then we just lose even more. So let's send some reserves. When in doubt, send more men. Uh, we need more men here as well. Yeah, our cannon here is just getting absolutely shredded. Okay, we've broken them, so we can charge that cannon. The unfortunate thing is they've got... Oh, it's only mortars. Okay, cool. We should be fine then just to straight up charge. Both of these positions. Bring up our general nice and close. We are doing good work here. Some men did rout, but others are coming back and taking their place. Uh, I don't know what these cannons are doing. Somehow we're losing here against the just decapitated British unit. Mortars don't seem like they do as much damage, which is nice. Let's swarm up there. Okay, cool. You guys start focusing on that. We've got more men here to help out. God, their mortars, man, are just doing so much damage. I mean, just routed me. How are they firing the mortars at such close range? Okay, reserves are now here. Good, good, good. Let's re-surround this. Okay, more men, please. Bring on more cannon. They've just got so many mortars. We've, like, broken everything else. They have, like, no infantry left. It's fucking mortars. As always, it's a British cannon causing us the most issues. Okay, cool. Push into the forest now. I think we've killed this little salient. Yeah, and obviously all this cannon back here as well we have to deal with at some point. That's a future us problem, I think. We are running very low on infantry. Good little charge there. Guys, it's not hard. Just focus in on them. Uh, yeah, you guys are probably good just to charge them as well. I mean, dealing with these skirmishes is going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to keep on running away from me. And we have no cavalry to deal with them. Uh, 
and they can just beat me in melee here as well so we can't even kill them yeah that's like the biggest thing i don't i mean the cavalry is way too strong of course but i think the dumbest thing is yeah like the dumbest thing um is just how strong artillery crew is they need to be like half they need to go down to like 50 men for four cannons instead of 100 and they just need to not have as good melee stats as they do because look at that they've literally fought off like half my army here like what can men do the artillery and now this is not a goddamn artillery off isn't it and they're just going to keep on being annoying and we can't hit them because they're British skirmishers. Can charge them, though. Yeah, it's just literally artillery shooting artillery now. It's moving from both sides. The guns keep on firing. Just get into melee with them, boys. It's not that hard. Like, the cannon artillery at this range doesn't even do any damage either. Like, look at that. We're barely doing any damage at all. Shooting them point blank. And we still have all of this to kill as well, you know? Like... Hopefully that's enough, close enough for the canister. Right, general background. And like, you just can never catch these skirmishes. If they just stop charging, like, just charge them, you know? There you go. Oh my god, they broke me here as well! Oh my god, I'm, uh, British artillery, man, is just crazy. I mean, let's just charge them! God damn, they'll probably beat me here as well. Literally wouldn't be surprised. How are we doing over here? We route them, cool. Okay. Let's bring the boys back and we'll see the situation. And we have no ammo. Luckily, we actually do have a decent amount of ammo. And we'll bring everybody over. Uh, we have ammo stockpiled, so that's not the worst thing in the world. I just don't know how I'm going to deal with all of this still. This is all they have, though. Okay, cool. So, the cannons can kind of fall back at a longer range. I'm hoping we can maybe just maybe snipe this flag behind them. Let's send Arnold, the most loyal of all patriots, to go... Maybe the long way around. Oh, nice. They just routed perfect. Cool. Get them, boys! Do not let these cannons escape. Make sure we get our pound of flesh here, boys. I definitely went into that battle. I could have brought more men into it. But I was like, eh, what's the worst that can happen? And we did lose a pretty much most of our army here. But this is like the, the, the East Campaign 1. You know, like, after this, there is nothing left. Um, so let's finish off routing these soldiers. Are they going to die? Just let me shoot them, maybe. We'll just have soldiers here. We'll just shoot them. We'll just execute them. Nice. And we captured them and did a bit of war criming. Nice. So we ended up killing way more than we lost. And we were outnumbered. We had 51 guns as well. Wow. Yeah. So that, that was a good little... That was a good little victory for us, I would say. Considering we were very cocky of what we brought. You know... We definitely should have brought uh, more. But I, I imagine we'll see about 50 million surrenders now if we go up there. Uh, not actually that many. 
I mean, surely. They are going to fall back. Okay, well, they, they got out of there. Got to give them credit for that. Don't chase them. Just go to there and take it. Okay, so we need to go send some soldiers back now. Obviously, they're exhausted. So we're going to probably have to fall back a little bit. Uh, and obviously hold this place as well. But yeah, I mean, literally all they have is that, and then it's back to Quebec, and they won't be getting supplied either. And that's the big thing as well, is like, they're not getting supplied out there either. Uh, we're about to get about a billion guns. You guys are all going back. Yeah, you guys go up back there, rest up, and then we'll probably send you back to Boston to repair. Oh, actually, what we could do... So yeah, you guys stockpile up here. What we could do is send the Navy, get them on the boats, and then come back. Let's let some of our ships repair, and let's do that. We'll send our ships up here. I mean, there's lots of British ships to kill anyway. And then we'll, then we'll transport soldiers back. I thought that sounds like a great plan. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's do that. We don't have any other men lying around. Like, we have fish out here. Again, can't really do much with these generals. They're just here to kind of block and make sure that the... Americans aren't pushing anywhere. Do we have any more officers? I could actually maybe make an extra militia unit, maybe. We don't. Um, but what we could do... What we could do... What we could do is go boom. Boom, boom. And then we will. And then we can maybe make two more units of fusiliers, two more units of militia. Go from there. How do we have so many low-ranking officers? Uh, well, one, our, our entire army, besides like a couple units, are all militia. But also, we've just built recruiting houses, and we're pretty late in the campaign. We're, what, March 24th, 1776, so pretty late in the campaign, I would say. Okay, cool. So let's maybe get an officer. Uh, let's outfit these guys with some United States muskets. Why not? So we'll do that back there, uh, and then we'll start bringing some soldiers back. Where do we have men, though? We have, like, no recruits anywhere. Oh, Boston, okay. So let's ferry the soldiers back to Boston. The British are coming out of some ships. And how are we looking here? So you guys are pretty well repaired. Okay, we're just ferrying. So let's take... Uh, the, the, the first rate is pretty beaten up, honestly. Like, honestly, what's the worst? Like, like what, what are they going to do? Sink it? <laughs> Okay. And you're repairing and you're fully repaired. Okay, cool. Uh, so now you put this brig together just to give us a bit more fighting power, I guess. Okay, let's send the first round. I mean, there's a lot of British ships up here. Yeah, lots of generals dying, unfortunately. Okay, let's maybe send that back. These ships are making him a long journey up here. Yeah, we're going to sink that, which is good. Oh, you died at sea. Yeah, a lot of our naval officers did. No one ever comes back to fucking New Haven. I swear I sent like a million ships back here and just no one ever does. Uh, yo, Swedish, how's it going, man? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, you go back there and replenish and get a new officer then. How you doing, Swedish, today? Welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, you just focus on building schools everywhere. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do. And I guess we can send Arnold back as well, just so I can see it. They should be fine here, you know. The Navy is coming. We still need to obviously help out ships here and stuff, but it's fine. Give everyone else a couple days. I will let them have the seas for like a little bit, I guess, you know. Not have the seas, but we'll let them, like, think they have the seas for a little bit, I guess. Uh, yeah, cool. And then we just replenish, and then we, we push out again. I mean, to be fair, like, we have a lot of men here that could probably push up to Norwick. This is cool, though. I'm really, really happy that we're going to be using these ships efficiently, if that makes sense. Like, these ships are going to basically be used to transport my army back to Boston to repair, which is cool. British Navy is still weaker than ours, which is good. And we immediately engage. Yeah, that'll be sunk immediately. 
Yeah, literally immediately. Oh, we have more stuff as well. Uh, let's build some more infrastructure then. As we have a lot, you know. Um, so let's build some more infrastructure here. Uh, we, want, we want more factories as well where we can get them. Like that, yeah. More factories means more guns. I mean, we need more guns. We engage the British again. Again, not about we need to worry about. Yeah, they're saying a lot. This ship probably needs to come back to harbour as well to repair. Do we need any more goods of anything? I don't think so, right? We have enough wood. Yeah, we're fine. Oh my god, this navy just wants to get home. Can you let the navy get home? We have to buy this one, though. 100% we have to buy this one. That that third rate has like 50 crew on it. And we have so many officers. Yeah, literally has so much crew. We'll sink the brig and we'll take the third rate. Either of these ships can do it realistically as well. So we'll stick them all on that. Not to damage it anymore. Yeah, I, I can't imagine the British have like any ships left, really. Like at all. We have just been sinking ships left, right, and center. Uh, give me one second. Again, they're showing chain at my big ship as well, which is fine. Yeah, I mean, ideally, if the, the first rate can go untouched as well, that's not bad either. Good, good. Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm doing great, thank you. I'm doing great. As I said um, early, you probably missed it. Uh, we are just finishing off... We're just finishing off our Ultimate General Let's Play. Uh, and then, yeah, but I don't know what we're going to do after this. I guess maybe start a new Bannerlord campaign? On stream, probably a stream campaign where we get to name characters and stuff. It is also my 30th birthday next week, though, so I'm probably... I don't know if I'm streaming. I need to get my videos done, basically, is the main the main crux of it. I need to get videos done for that weekend. Cool. Captured it. Good. And we'll just let the first rate go sync this one. So, yeah, it's just making sure my videos are done for then, if that makes sense. Nice. Good job, boys. Oh my god, that is so funny. Yeah, there the first rate is an absolute monster. There's not really much else that can sink it, you know. Cool, one capture. Does it say one sunk? I wonder if that ship survived. So yeah, hopefully I can get all my videos done in time so we can have some good streams next week. Uh, cool. So that's that completely done now as well. Uh, oh, Arnold has leveled up. I've actually never seen this. I guess I must have fixed it in an update. So 20 willpower. Firearm or better melee. I mean, I guess there's willpower. Like having people survive longer is way better. Cool, nice. It seems like they fixed the level up system, which is good. Uh, nice. We grabbed another ship as well. We'll give them like a tick of repairing. Yeah, this ship after this battle needs to head home for sure. You're already repairing as well. Yeah, we've got a bunch of ships that desperately need repairing. Oh, I just can't catch a break there. And then, yeah, we'll bring this entire army back. Or well, most of the army, we need to leave some garrison here. Uh, you guys need a cannon crew as well. We don't have enough guns. What do we need? Civilian muskets? None of you guys have civilian muskets. I don't know why it's saying that. It must be a bug. Okay, so we'll give them a tick of replenishment just so they can get their crews back up. And then... And then we'll start heading them down south. Why not? Get our army up and going again. I guess what we'll do is we'll come up to Norwalk as well because this force might be able just to push. I know there's only two divisions in all, but... 
should be enough. The British Navy is still very weak compared to us now. Yeah, they must have like no ships left. Artillery needs civilian muskets, but why? But why? I mean, I guess we'll just do that. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously that makes sense now you say it. There we go. Uh, let's get some more militia. Make sure everybody has artillery who can. The artillery is what wins us for battles. Cool. So these guys crew back up now. You guys, not quite. Okay, so we'll leave this ship here to crew up. And we'll take these two. So how do I, I do this, right? I have to do them individually. Take the most battered units with me. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. Um, so let's take you, 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 you. And set sail back down south. Oh, that's cool as well. You can actually only land at certain places. I really like that. Yeah. Again, that's going to be all about the British campaign. We can just push up and take that. Cool. So that's exactly what we'll do. Because again, that just cuts off more supply routes down, pushes ours a bit further up, allows Norwalk to get supply for when we push on uh, Quebec. Um, oh my god, we get more loyalty where? Massachusetts? Yeah, I think we will spend that. We have so much money. So, of course, the merchants can have whatever they want. Oh yeah, and then this ship needs to get home. Yeah, this ship needs to get home ASAP. To repair. Uh, let's build a carpenter shop here for more materials. Yeah, I mean, these forts are going to be a pain, but I'm hoping we can just kill the easy ones. Like, we'll be going in the back from Montreal. When does the game end as well? It's like October, right? So we still have like six months. Yeah, and you're just repairing still, which is fine. Again, repairing at stupidly slow speeds. But all we need to do is get the crew up and we're fine. And you guys are still getting some manpower. Yeah, there's some good provisions in this wagon. Should be like another wagon unit there. Why not? Probably do need to buy some wagons, eh? Or produce them. Oh, I just sold mine, lol. Fine, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, the Navy is coming down with our massive army of boys. Cool, you're going to get out of there nice. By that time, this Navy should be able to head out. And the British naval presence is very few and far between, you know? Well, I like that. I like how we're transporting soldiers now. It'll be so much quicker than, than anything else. We make our way into Boston. Again, these ships are basically ready to head out now as well. We just do like that. And that. Just to get their sails repaired. Okay, cool. Let's unload these guys then. Cool. They can replenish. Yeah, immediately they just slurp up the entire recruitment pool. That'd be, lot, that'd be very expensive as well, but fine. God, this ship is battered. Uh, let's let them focus in on just sails first. Same up here as well as what I did, right? No. Here is what I did? Yeah, here. Get the sails up to full strength. The army will take some time to replenish for sure. British are mobilizing. Okay, so they're going to try and counterattack me, I guess. Somewhere. Which is fine. Oh, fuck. I completely forgot about this as well. Cool. Apparently, they stand a chance here. I don't really know how. No idea how. So let's just dive into another battle quickly. They literally just have three units of infantry. But again, if they want to charge at me, it's fine with me. Let's give the cannons, cannons on the front line. In the gap, the infantry on the side. 
we've because because i imagine normally what would happen now is you would expand out if that makes sense like the map would expand so you never really get into the position oh god so you never really get into this position that i'm in right now where i'm just like dominating the british like the british don't stand a chance you'd never get to this position because the map would open up and the other years of the wars would happen because that because the game isn't there yet it still you know needs that to be and basically needs to add that um the game does feel quite easy but again we've worked very hard to get to this point Okay, so that's this taken as well. Nice, nice, nice. We'll get a little volley off. We'll just push up to Norway. Start getting supplies there. As I said, it's important to get supplies there. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. You guys are replenishing slowly but surely. We do actually have a recruitment house here, so we can upgrade it to a barracks. Why not? It's Boston after all. And of course, we'll just need the Navy to help out elsewhere. You guys still need to repair the sails, which is fine. Oh, it looks nice as well. All these new places up here we've never visited. Give us a few tips on how you got this to this point. Well, of course, if you haven't already, you should watch my entire playthrough on this game. I give you the best tips, the ultimate tips. Um, I'm, I mean, I think winning the naval, naval war is pretty important because it basically allows you to fund anything you want to do. Well, as, soon as, you can, as soon as you start taking British third rates, you'll basically have infinite money, uh, which is obviously great. Really, really good. Um, so learning and kind of figuring that out is really good. Uh, and the other, the other main tip is just cannons. Cannons are the way to deal with British line. Like, bring them up to a front line, let them canister shot. Obviously, try and avoid the British from shooting them. Um, but you can just do that, and British don't really stand a chance against it. Uh, I might just do that here as well. Um, yeah, so, and I, I would also just solely focus on militia. There's no real reason to do anything else. Uh, let's get more to companies. Yeah, just focusing on militia. Should we get carbines? <laughs> carbines are like ridiculously OP. They're basically like World War I guns almost. Oh, we have this unit as well. Let's bring this over. Uh, resources. That's fine. We'll bring these guys over. Yeah, we got, we got carbines now. So we literally have the best guns. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have any other specific questions, feel free to ask. Can we build? I'm looking for fur shops. Because they give you a load of money, but they, can't, they have to be further north. Yeah, no furs, unfortunately. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is this Navy ready yet? No, it's still repairing. Not that the British have any ships anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, literally we are just waiting now. This army is very close to being fully replenished, which is going to be juicy. That's like max supplies. Yeah, now winter is over. We're getting so many supplies everywhere. Even these guys are like, because there's so few of them, they're actually replenishing quite nicely. Not enough muskets. Where do you guys know? Oh, hunting rifles. Well, how about you guys use Pennsylvania muskets? Oh, yeah, we have carbines. Yeah, let's take a bunch of factories on carbines as well. Um, infantry carbines, yeah. 
These things are going to be crazy. Wait, how do I build them? Oh, no. Oh, we can also do Dragoon Carbines as well. Nice. Yeah, our cavalry is going to be incredible. Uh, so let's maybe go like down and down. And like down. Yeah, we can go. We actually maybe like obsolete the Pennsylvania musket like that. Something like that. I'll push that to the top as well. Yeah. And we'll just start pumping out the infantry carbines. Try and get a couple units with them. This army probably needs a couple more days. And then, yeah, it should be fully supplied as well. Yeah, full, full provisions. Boston is packed. Yeah, Boston is like unlimited. I mean, even up here, we have... A, yeah, our supply network is Boston, Boston. Straight Boston, Boston. Uh, yeah. They're just repairing all the sails. Because we, we, as long as we have sails, we can basically kill anything. Let's give it a couple more days. Our oh, money, though. That's the thing, though. Like, we had 70 grand. Like, how have we lost 70 grand? I might just, yeah, fuck off this ship, to be honest. Because we need money. The ga I feel like the game just is like, oh, you have money? Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> and just, like, gets rid of it. Rifles are better than muskets. Uh, yeah, but they don't... So, like, the, the US musket and the brown bear, some of Virginia, they're all rifle, they're all muskets, but they... Uh, you produce a lot more of them. Basically, for some reason, ever since I upgraded to the Streamlabs Premium, it, like, when it, we just, like, randomly go down to zero bitrate and the stream just dies. I have no idea why. I apologize. We should be back now, even though we just lost, like, our, our entire viewership. So I apologize. YouTube's so funny as well, like, how I literally, the stream goes off for two minutes and 50 people leave. That is YouTube. Send these guys up here now. Ah, get off my screen. Uh, we should be back now, though, right? Please let me know. Should be back now. We back. One in chat if we're back. We back. Back. One in chat if we're back. We're back. Sorry, yeah. I don't know why Streamlabs is doing it. It's done it ever since I upgraded and started multi-streaming. Or trying to multi-stream. I couldn't multi-stream because it wouldn't let me. So, I don't know. Uh, let's take half of these ships out. And just start patrolling. You guys are heading north to kill this. Should be plenty of you. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we just munch, march on Quebec and then push down and we take the forts. I think we have quite a few men over here still. Yeah, 2,000 men. Of, yeah, we still have plenty of men here. But we also have quite a few men in reserve here as well. So we bring these guys down as well. Oh, God. Oh, we only have like 400 men here. Nice. We don't have a chance. Let's go. Give me limit tea. Yeah, again, it's a Streamlabs thing. I might just switch over, honestly, to OBS if it keeps on doing it. You know, like, there's no reason to keep on doing it if this is not going to work. So let's go up properly. Let's back. This is like a proper army as well. basically nothing, you know. We are fighting the worst that we have to offer. Do we have any carbines in this or just rifles? Yeah, Pennsylvania rifles and muskets. Okay. So they're going to be annoying about that. We have no cavalry now either, though, which is a bit annoying. We have some reserves. Probably send them to a right, I guess. Cannons. Yeah, we can just kill these small ones really quickly. And once they're gone, it's yeah, just GG. Go in there, flank there. Oh, 
Coming on this flank now. Are they charging me? Crazy. Good. Yeah, we're literally just shattering soldiers left, right, and center. Skirmishes are being just as annoying as they are to me. To the British, though. Except not as well because they're just dying. Keep on chasing now, I'm 16 men. I mean, they should just route any second now, right? Like, every unit we get to shatter is great, but it doesn't really matter. Just routed. Yeah, that's what we wanted to have happen. We don't want to extend this and try and charge them down, because chances are they just route. And if they don't, they go back to Quebec. And as I said, I don't think the British are, British are replenishing at all. Um, so... We're just, yeah, tearing them apart. Uh, we have these units as well we can bring up once they're fully replenished. Cool. Mm, pretty much all of them surrendered besides one. Cool. So let's take this. Uh, yeah, we have reserves here. Just chilling. You guys are running free. Okay, well, there's a few more sea regions we still need to clear. Which I guess you guys can patrol there. And then you come down south into this one. We'll clear like these out. We're just done. Like literally. That ship's fully I've got it. We replenished so quickly. I wish New Haven. We just had more. We had just had that at more places, you know. Um, how's our production looking? Yeah, fine. We're making 14 infantry carbines a day. Oh my lord. Cool, this is going to be ours. We probably are going to have to leave a militia unit there. And you guys are ready to go as well. Because it's going to be, what, 0% loyal? So let's leave a unit here for now. Okay, you guys go there. I mean, to be fair, you guys could do us some rest. I mean, yeah, then I guess we can buy these guys up and we just go for Quebec. Let's do it. Let's just start pushing. Why not? We'll leave these guys, as I said, here. Uh, we'll start getting a carpenter shop. They're still replenishing. But we'll meet these guys like midway through. Obviously, it's very, very bad terrain. I'm probably saying you guys there just to garrison it, to dissuade any attacks. You aren't done till you conquer Canada. Yeah, don't worry. We will. We will. I mean, the British Navy is completely obsolete now. Completely obsolete. They have two 68-gun ships there, and then they're completely done. Like, I literally think we could probably... Like, anything that's close to being repaired... Yeah, like, okay, just go out there. You guys go out there. We'll leave some ships repairing, of course. <laughs> Oh god, they've basically got an army there. Uh, we're done here. Not that we need anything here as well. Like, building ships just isn't good. When you can capture them. Uh, yeah, and our stockpile of guns is still decent. We could definitely give some more brown vessels. But everything else is fine. We have 118 car infantry carbines. Okay. How's our loyalty in these regions? 16, 16. Oh, we need to leave a unit here as well, actually. So we actually, only are, we actually are only now sending one battalion, which probably isn't the best thing. Oh, you're going here, aren't you? Yeah, cool. So you're fine. But we still are only sending one battalion up here, which probably isn't our best plan of action, you know? Where the hell are you guys going? Oh, my God. Why do, why do you think you're back here? No! Expand. Oh, my God. What are you guys doing? How annoying. You guys get in there.
Uh, nice, more provisions. We'll take that. Join brigade and get your asses up here already. God. Damn it. Quebec is going to be fully defended by the time we get there, man. Oh, we should also bring the cow. I mean, we should probably bring both of these guys. Okay, but the other militia need to come. Uh, let's get both of you guys on board. And get you guys up here. As I said, the Navy is already winning, ruling the waves. Uh, so let's just send one of our ships here. And I guess the first rate can go here. Patrol. Patrol. Boom. Doesn't that look incredible? Um, Massachusetts Bay is the only one we don't actually have a ship in. Apparently, we have two over here. Oh, and get your asses back here then. Search for enemy ships. We have this brig as well. Uh, yeah, let's bring the brig back home then. Yep, everything is besides this region as well. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh, I mean, you guys should not be trolling with them, men there. So yeah, you guys offload now. Uh, yeah, sorry. Join garrison. Join garrison. We'll send you guys to basically resupply these guys and these guys will move out is the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you guys now because hopefully you can get over here in time. And then you guys will go and garrison that when you're there. And we have another extra couple men back here if we need to bring them up as well. Nice, 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 nice. Big nice. Uh, and we should probably spend just for the better um, newspapers to boost loyalty a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we're out of money again. Wow, of course we are. How? Like, how are we out of money? It makes no sense. I guess we're repairing a little bit of a lot of ships. But we should be getting so much money from sea trade. A sea invasion. One of the British ships have been spotted. Where? The captain has followed the enemies from a distance in Castine. Where the hell is Castine? Up in the north? Yeah, up here. Okay, cool. Uh, and get out here. Uh, yeah. So the enemy ship, I mean, I guess I want you here as well. Should be here somewhere, right? Oh, it's there, it's there. Oh, nice. And the first rate is right here. No, let me, let me give it an order. Oh, it's already engaged him? Nice. <laughs> Fuck off. Get out of here. This is what freedom looks like. Oh, baby. You've come to the wrong neighborhood. Right there. Beautiful. Bloody beautiful. I do say so myself. You guys will miss over here as well, please. Sink them all. I imagine in the full game, um, these British these British invasions will be heavily supported by ships, you know? Like, heavily supported. Um, as of right now, they are not. And look at all that prestige we're getting as well. Just immediately get another general, why not? Yeah, so you guys are just good to go back doing your thing, you know? Uh, cool. I don't know what I just researched as well. Yeah, you guys go there. Oh, you know, you're actually coming back. Right? Oh my god, they're escaping. No, hunt him down. Don't let them escape. Do not let them escape. The, okay, our ships need to go out and get them then. It's fine, whatever. Like, you've done your thing there, but... Hunt that ship down, like, immediately, please. I forgot about this as well. Oh, yeah, we're still waiting for Starks to get here, but they're going to be a while, so let's just push on Quebec. 
Please engage them. If they land, that is not good for us. Engage them! No! There we go. Thank God. Ooh. That was a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. A little bit scary. Oh, you guys go here. We're sinking British trade ships. I better finish them off as well. Oh, and Quebec's no empty. Perfect. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I guess they've sent all their forces elsewhere, right? And we're still fine at Layman. Uh, yeah, nice. Cool. Perfect. We take Quebec and then we push south. I guess they weren't expecting an assault from here. We just sunk that invasion. Beautiful. Uh, there's music from Victoria Free. It is indeed. Yes. Oh my god, we're going to survive 600 men? No! Don't let them! Nice, we caught, we caught the final part. Cool, we just sunk that entire... Entire Navy. We took Quebec as well. So we should get the, the capture Quebec mission completed. Just join everybody in. Nice. Rhode Island has better administration. And boom. 25 prestige, 25k, and 100 wood. Nice. And it didn't get damaged either, which is perfect. So now we can start building some buildings here. Uh, we have a 2400 man army. Wait for Starks to get it here. As well, they must be very close. And then we push down them, and it's only a handful more settlements to take. Probably a big battle for Fort Tigra and Fort Fredrickson. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah, we should also take this time as well to outfit my skirmisher company uh, with infantry carbines. Cool, nice. So they'll get here, they can rest. Oh, we should probably bring my supply wagon up as well. Where is it? Here. Yeah, we should probably bring this back up. Uh, oh, we're engaging some more British ships here. That's actually not a bad British fleet as well. I mean, it's going to die, but I guess they are going to keep on trying to uh, send over ships. So yeah, the British Navy is very weak. We've sunk 41 British ships. <laughs> and they've sunk five of mine. That's so funny. Kind of like in a bit of a stalemate here. I don't really know what's happening. Are you coming over as well? Yeah, you get your asses over here to Quebec. You've just arrived. Good. Okay, cool. Uh, nice. So when we just take these guys down, we move south and we're good, right? We're good. And then we just Montreal is taken. Uh, we've got another general. We've got 200 officers as well. We're looking so, so good there. Uh, these ships should just meet up as well. we got two ships here. They should just both be together. It's so funny that we sunk the entire British Navy. The, the 10,000 man invasion. We'll let them repair a little bit. Yeah, they still are sending ships, but they're just getting mince me, dude. But I haven't really, like, noticed my sea trade going up at all from, like, doing this, you know? There's, like, no real benefit from doing this. Ah, cool. Let's go then. So you guys join the brigade. Um, I guess we need to leave a unit of militia here. Um, yeah, you guys just go. We'll leave a unit of militia here. And everybody else can come down. Nice, 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 nice. Do we have any other spare units lying around? that I need. Because again, getting obviously up all the bonuses. I mean, we have an extra unit of militia there. Okay, let's start sending over a unit of militia then. 
to to Lyman, because I guess we'll get to Lyman, and then we'll... I mean, Lyman still needs men here, but we can bring these guys over, I guess. Or a unit over. Oh, basically over to Hubbington, and we can meet up here. Oh, God, okay, cool. Do I need to fight this one, or is it okay? I think it should just let me auto-resolve, right? Because I lose so many men like this, I'm pretty sure just break, but I guess we'll let them... No, they're not doing too bad, actually. Nice, good job. Push on the, the city now. We'll take the town. They're oh, bringing over more men as well. Wow. I don't know what that was about, but good on you, I guess. They surrendered. Perfect. Uh, the town is now also ours, so we'll garrison everybody. I bet you Montreal as well is completely undefended. It started with the T. <laughs> true. True, true, true. true. You guys have arrived. I mean, I guess you guys just probably come down to Hubbington, maybe. Yeah, we are. We are like, our ships are getting pretty beaten up, though. In fairness. Uh, it would be nice if there was like a go back to port at this, you know? Like at this HP level. Go back to port. Yeah, we have complete naval dominance basically everywhere. But yeah, no no real sea trade. I guess this is not fully, really implemented into the game yet. Uh, cool. You guys have like a day day of rest and we march on Montreal. We need to keep up this. They're bolstering the defenses. But I don't know. Okay, they're going away. Okay. Oh, they spawned there. Okay, they spawned there. That's why. Okay, let's head down south again. I guess we need to leave a unit behind. Oh god, run, 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 run. Is that a good unit? I don't know. No, it's just militia. Cool. Yeah, cool. Let's push on Montreal then. Uh, we're about to run out of money. Why are we doing a construction mission in Portsmouth? Uh, okay, we're about to run out of money again, it would seem. Do we have anything to sell? We, Oh, we have so much wood. Oh my god, we have so much wood. We have so much of everything. Yeah, nice. Montreal is just open. I guess the British aren't expecting this attack from behind. As a British move myself, I never expect attacks from behind. And then again, they still have big armies. We still need to defeat their armies, of course. There we go. It's Montreal taken. It is annoying having to leave garrisons everywhere. Um, nice. Okay, so I guess to finish this off, Boston has not a lot of men. Where are all of our recruits? So I guess basically what we do now is we take these soldiers. Okay, we've got 1,300 there. How many across the river as well? 600 there. Okay, cool. So about 2,000 men here. But yeah, loyalty is fine. We have men garrisoning these. It's okay. And be careful if the first rate doesn't go down, but it's just constantly, sick it, sti uh, it's constantly sinking British ships. Let's get a college built here as well. So that should actually make it so that we actually have some good... Uh, repair speed here as well. Because this is a tier 3 shipyard. 
We might as well take these soldiers as well, right? There is no reason to now be garrisoning this. For this inevitable push. Um, okay, cool. So we take this fort. It's only a tier one. Fort, tier two, two fort is basically undefended. So we should probably actually take that first. Maybe even have these soldiers. And then, yeah, then this is these soldiers scattered around. What if I... Um, oh my god, we've got so many factories everywhere as well. If I can, I would love to make another unit of cavalry. And we have a lot of, yeah, just proper guns as well. What are you guys wielding? Short presses? Yeah. Something like that. I mean, Montreal is going to be giving us no soldiers because of the loyalty, but it's fine. What happens if we stick our intelligence all the way up as well? It's giving me, like, exact numbers, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, enough men as well, right? The numbers are way more accurate. Perfect. All right, let's do this bad boy. First things first, we kill this. Uh, actually, first things first, we should move down to Fort John's because it has less men and it's an easier fort to take. Uh, and then whilst that's happening, you guys move over to it here, I guess. So let's, let's do this. Again, they probably will just break as we fight them, so we'll engage it. Cool, down to what? Four more settlements left to take. I'd love to see it. Uh, it's a tier 2 fort, but they have way less men, right? So let's get the cannons up. I don't think we have any six pounders here. Annoyingly, it'd be great if we did. Yeah, we don't. Oh, cavalry's out here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, the next map expansion is going to be really nice for sure. I am also very much looking forward to it. I imagine it will come with a lot of big updates as well, just for the overall game and balancing and stuff. Oh, nice. We do have some siege busting tech. Boom. Cool. So you guys hammer that. You guys hammer that. Just wait, basically. You guys have better rifles, so you should be able to outrange these guys. No, okay. Go back then. Just let the cannons do their thing. Cannons will clear everything up. Cannons will just tear this up. But yeah, definitely darker. I, I think, yeah, I, I think when the next map, map extension comes, it'll be really, really good, for sure. And why don't you guys do this? Ah, the British have mortars as well. So this, this cavalry should be really scary. I don't know how they're being rear flanked. Like, they're literally not being shot by anything. Cannons can hold fire now. Cavalry just kill them. They're just running them down in a second.
Cool. Yeah, easy victory. Even capture some artillery crew. Perfect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, cool. So that's, that's the, the easier of the two forts taken care of. We still have the, the bigger fort. I mean, I say it's easier. This is like a tier one fort, so it shouldn't be too difficult. We do need to leave a unit in Montreal. Let's send the cavalry back. Why not? Because these guys will come in and take hub this, basically. And you guys take that. I mean, it's consolidating our forces and taking projects in the member final four. And then we're done. The, we've conquered the world. You'd love to see, eh? This is repair. Oh, yeah, with the shipyard now. With the tier 3 shipyard, we repair so quickly as well. Nice. That's basically all we needed to do. Now that we have that, the ships just repair, like, so quickly. So we should really just start sending ships back to Boston. To repair. Not that it really matters. Because, yeah, we do so not exactly... Oh, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> okay, let's just go inside for now. Okay, you guys just engage that. We get fish up as well. Fish hasn't fought in a battle in so long. Um, so I guess we just fight it again. We can speed through these crappier battles. Okay, let's do this. I mean, again, they're just going to route immediately as soon as they turn up, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, though. They run away. We take this. Again, we cut off supply from basically everywhere, so they should be starving. The playthrough has turned me into an American. I think I've earned the right to be an American, you know? I think I've earned that right to be an American after what I've done for you people. They have, like, nowhere to retreat to. I guess up in the north. Yeah. That was a little bit annoying, I guess, because they do get some more men here. Cool. You guys are in Montreal as well. Uh, oh yeah, we should probably get rid of our intelligence now. I was just doing it to see what it looked like. We don't need any intelligence. Sea invasion. The British are heading to the shores of Fort George. Fort George, where the fuck is Fort George? up here right poor george all right boys set sail do not let them in wherever they come there okay it's only 1700 men am i supposed to be scared 1700 men is that it is that it Is that all you can muster? Uh, hey Jackie, I've seen your videos on Battle of Mob for Banner Kings. How do I get it? Uh, go to my website and follow the instructions. Tis how. Okay, I guess we finish this off. Uh, we should probably build a couple more militia units just to help us out. You know, there's no reason not to, you know? We have so many officers. Let's just build maybe like two more. I guess you don't have any three pounds as well. Just do that for now. I'll buy some. Well, we actually have much money either. But I can probably sell some stuff. Yeah, we have 40 furs. I forgot about that. 200 provision stockpiled as well. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it's really easy to... In well, it's not easy to install, but it's not, like, awful. And if you're having troubles install it, just join my Discord. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help. Get the cavalry in as 
well. Oh, nice as well. Secret conference. Javeliers, some free pounders, and some ammunition. To be synced that as well, by the way. I assume so. Yeah, see you later, invasion. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, we replenish ships so quickly. Nice. Getting that shipyard up is so important. Oh, I saw a red. Hubbington is red. Don't you dare rebel, Hubbington. Uh, I mean, do we need to fight this? Let's drop a save in case. Of course, I'll fight the final battle, of course, but... That's crazy that they're able to, like, withstand this. We lost a lot of men, but when all else fails, charge them! <laughs> nice. Good job, boys. We actually have good recruits in Montreal now as well. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So they are retreat, which is fine. We've got some more men up here. Okay, what's our next target? So we have two settlements left now. 2,000 men there, and then what? 2,000 men in Fort Tyrega. Okay, let's give our soldiers a little bit of replenishment. We actually do need to be kind of quick with as well. As well. The game... Oh, got our money as well. Fuck, I wasn't looking. Uh, the game ends soon as well, right? So we can't actually take forever. So I think we do just go. I know these places are going to probably rebel, but... Does it matter? The Continental Army is here. And we're ready to fight. I know these places are going to probably rebel. But I'm hoping I can win the battle the day before any of that. Yeah, I mean, look what they have. It's nothing. It's such battered forces at this point. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just blitzing them now, you know. So let's bring up our army. Look at that. So many of the units are already shattered. Literally have already shattered. That is crazy. We'll get the cannons up here as well. Let's get the artillery and we'll just start bombarding. So many weakened units is crazy. Oh, they're doing pretty. They're doing a. Oh my god, they're doing a massive push on this flank. Okay, let's get the cannon set up here then. You can see it set up there. This cannon coming down as well to help support this flank. Okay, the old girl still has a bit of life left in her then. Grenadiers here if we need them. These guys back. Cannons are going to arrive sooner rather than later. Yeah, we just need to break a bunch of these small units. And we just need to shatter them, which we are doing. As you guys can see. Yeah, at this point, it is just simply going through lay motions. So many Venus is shattered. It's crazy, actually. We're actually doing pretty good on this left flank. Okay, let's let's reinforce it then. We 
we put any reinforcements over on this flank as well, so let's do that. It's there, but reinforcing here. We still do have to take another four. But this will basically yeah, fully push it back. Oh my god, that cannon volley. Insane. They have a lot of units inside this four as well. Holy crap. Bring up some units. I guess you guys charge that. Break them over here, I guess. Oh, it's so silly that you route. It really is. Set up a cannon. Oh, we actually got charge bear as well. They charge me, but I bet you they win that. Whereas I don't. Oh, I did win that. Stop on bottom, please. Very, they had nothing. That's probably enough just to serve a them afterwards. Now, we still need to take that tier 3 4, which is going to be a bit of a problem because army is going to spin back. What I could do is I could just leave a small garrison everywhere. It's not like the British are getting any more soldiers. Head back, replenish, and then come at them again. But also, the game does end soon as well, so it can't actually be like super, super slow either, you know? Cannon, I guess, as well. Oh, their cannons are coming out for some reason as well. Ready? Should be able to rinse these guys up pretty quickly. Oh, if they get a good shot here, I am so dumb. Yes. Like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, see if we just, like, push forward now. Like, now is the hour. We just, like, stormed before. Their morale must be so low. My god, I, that's so ridiculous. I mean, the amount of men I lost. I mean, I'm friendly firing, but they're shooting like once every like 20 minutes. Like, how am I routing? It's so, like, they've got 50 men left. We've got this entire army just sitting here. Are they not routed yet? There's nothing left. They got a unit of artillery left. The sabers cut through them as well, like heavily. Oh, 
like, how have they not routed? There we go, cool. Good job. Yeah, lost a thousand. That's probably the quickest way you could ever lose a thousand men right there, I think. We lost a thousand men very quickly. Okay. So that's that fort taken. Of course, we want to just secure it. So I probably do need to fall back now. Because I'm going to probably have to take a little bit of time. Uh, to not lose these. So you guys join that. You guys join that. One of you guys go there. One of you guys go there. Okay, our last prize is right here. So I'll give it like a day. I think we'll loot. Yeah, I think we'll give it a couple days and then we'll go from there. Yeah. We have no money because of how expensive everything is. That'll save us a bit, I guess. But we can sell the rest of the furs and be absolutely fine. Oh, we actually sold them. Okay. Fair enough. We have so much ammunition. Holy crap. Okay, let's just let everybody build up. We have a thousand men here alone. Oh my god, it's another sea invasion. Where? New Haven. Uh... Oh yeah. It's literally only a thousand men, though. Like, what do they hope to achieve with these small ass invasions? Look at that as well. The British army is very weak compared to ours. The British Navy is very weak. Yeah, one last battle indeed. So we'll bring these guys up. Everyone at Hubbington. Yeah. I mean, these guys are replenishing fairly decently as well. These guys maybe not so much, but... Cool, let's see Major done. I guess we'll bring you guys down, like here. Yeah, we'll just surround the fort. Let's do it. Let's bring everybody down now. Soldiers of Montreal. Remember, this is a tier 3 fort. You guys go into Montreal. Okay, let's do it. So you guys go there. We all go like this, go like that, uh, and bring one of you guys down. Let me look at that army. We actually only have 2,400 men, 2,800 men here. That's how crazy it is. Uh, you guys should all be part of an army, so you share the ammunition. All should be part of the army. Oh my god, they came out as well. Holy crap! Look at how many wounded units they have. Is it? It's not even a fight. Look at it. They literally have a single unit of full strength left and you guys aren't even involved so let's wait until you guys get up here wait for these guys i mean a lot of their soldiers are surrendering already you guys in yet okay let's do it the final battle of the campaign i mean we basically we've crushed them now anyway so it doesn't really matter but It was a tier 3 fort, though. They have a lot of soldiers, you know. It's not like they just have nobodies. Okay, let's get this artillery battery then online and ready to shoot. So, let's just line it up here. Oh, my God. They, they've combined their units as well. I like that. That's really cool, actually. They've basically combined all their units together to make fatter units. That's cool. I mean, probably something we should do. Get artillery here as well. What happens if we send cavalry? Let's send our cavalry around to scout as well. 
You guys are routing already, cowards. We have out here with something good. We have the supply wagons, yeah. Nice. Give us supply wagons. God, it looks so cool as well, doesn't it? It's really cool. They have some pretty scary units. Like these, that's a 400 man British unit. I guess they still have some numbers. That's a 300 man British unit. The nice thing is we have plenty of ammo. So let's set up the guns. And let's start firing. More guys coming over here. I mean, the cavalry can deal with these guys quite nicely. I just charge them. I'm going to lose so many men here. But just here to win the battle, clear the British from American soil, and be done. Let's kill right there, route the British. I mean, they do have good defences everywhere, though, but they're set up. Oh, no, it's a broken back defence. Cool. So let's start piling through then, boys. Let's go. Because there's no way we're going to be able to destroy the cannons. There's our cavalry as well. Jesus Christ! Let's go, boys! Into the abyss! I don't know why. We're going to have to restart this battle. I'm, I'm just charging. I'm just charging. Like a moron. We should definitely not be charging like a moron. That is how you lose a battle like this. We do want to get inside the settlement, to be fair, so... Oh my god, that canister shot is going to murder me. Yeah, we're already losing hundreds of men. They have so much cannon. But who knows, maybe just sheer weight of numbers is enough. If we can just get a foothold, you know, like it's really not going to be that bad. If we can just get a foothold, we have plenty of reserves. We can just keep on funneling in to the fight. We just need that initial foothold, you know. Get the cannons in here. The cannons start canister shotting. We've got three boys all shooting this at the same time. Let's charge at the gate. The cannons are doing fine. Come on, boys. I believe. Let's get the cannons set up and start canister shotting. all we need. Okay, there you go. Boys are set up now. I have full faith we win this. I have full faith we win this. No, we're losing. Okay, let's restart. Let's just play it seriously. Let's actually do it seriously then. God damn. Is it too much to ask to just, you know, automatically win the battle? God. Uh, yeah. So they have a lot of cannon, which is pretty scary, honestly, actually. Like, really thinking about it. They have a lot of cannon. Um, so let's sit up here. We still want to kind of do the same thing, right?
And I guess what we kind of want to do as well is we kind of want to let... reinforcing they have so much cannon like my god you guys reinforce that section keep on hitting that like this is just doing no damage so i guess hit like this yeah i guess maybe come around would you like destroy the battlements now because like hitting this stone wall is doing absolutely nothing Nice, and this is exactly what we want them to do. We want them to come out of their routing. Nice, and we just kind of shot this fat old unit. You know, there's so many brute swords in this kill. This is supposed to be like the hardest battle in the game as well, so you can kind of see why it is the hardest battle in the game. There's just so much cannon everywhere. Hold fire, hold fire, hold, hold, and they just round No, 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 just shoot. Okay, fire, fire, please, fire, please. Kind of low on ammo as well. Let's try and push forward a little bit, I guess. Because that's what we want to break, obviously. We have some cavalry. I'm so annoying. This just seems to just fuck off. We're just breaking. Like, how are we being rear flanked? I'm literally staring at them. We're like rear flanked. It makes literally no sense. Hey, we've made a bit of a breach, I guess. Let's start funneling some more men through there. And then the cavalry should probably come as well. I'd like help out there. Where else is fine? Okay, now we're gonna leave men here, so they actually need to come. Something over here, apparently. It's these units who are just arm breaking. They just like route and come back, route and come back, route and come back. Like I literally can't do anything against that. It's so frustrating. I need our wagons up here as well. And like the, the cannons on the wall are basically impervious to anything. This boy is going to be too hard to take. It really is. What if I bring my cannons like really close? Where's my supply wagons? As well as Plenty of men, that's not a problem. Yeah, if we just get our cannon set up like here, we should really be able to fight us. Their cannons can't see us. And we can just 
shoot them like this. Yeah, boom. That's how we deal with them. The problem is, though, the mechanics just kill us. But I think bear out of ammo now, which is, like, the one thing we have going for us. is like, bear out of ammo, and we're not. I don't know what will happen to the sound as well. So we'll engage them and we'll just shoot them. Oh, nice. We round them. Nice. Okay. Plenty of men. And now we just start pouring through. Apparently we're fighting over here somehow. Guns can just keep on shooting. I guess we can push up the guns a little bit as well. Okay, let's just stop pushing in, I guess. we have left now that I haven't just thrown away. You guys can get back on your cannon. So these cannons are now inside, so basically it means they can one shot my stuff. Cool, good job, good job. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we obviously need to clear out what's inside as well. You guys are back on my cannon, which is good. You guys never left your cannon, which is good. Let's get you guys up here. Let's keep the supplies out. I still have soldiers outside here as well. I don't know what happened to the music, but it is now off. We should probably just get more soldiers on this cannon. Uh, and just bring them inside. Oh, we have some more cannon here as well. Nice. And that just wins us for day, I think. You guys route that, and then we just set the cannon up. We just work our way around. I think... Literally just take the British cannon. Give enough ammunition to supply everybody still. You come in. You deal with that. Deal with that. As you can tell, I'm just here to get this done now. You know, I just want to complete it, say I've done it. Oh, my charger's here. Nice. Let's switch them off. Uh, of course, we want to try and get these British units off the cannon as well here. Just fire there. Nice. We're inside there as well. We routed immediately, but they're off the cannon, so it's the end of the world. How are you being rear flanked? Like, it's physically impossible for you guys to be rear flanked. Literally physically impossible. out all of that which now means we should be able to move up here with our soldiers uh, and actually get inside the castle and then we can just see cannons inside the castle we immediately route but hopefully we can get someone up We're just like running through our own cannon fire to get on these cannons to start shooting on them. Oh, we don't have any ammo though, but we can bring up supplies and give them ammo. Which is fine. Supplies are on their way. There you go. There we go. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job.
get the side cannons in. I still got men just fannying behind me. Who shouldn't be? Let's finish these guys up quickly. routing my my men are fine and then they're like theirs we're out immediately we're literally gonna lose i know i'm not exactly playing this battle properly but like their soldiers can are just good at like charging in and they can take no damage i can do it <laughs> right cool uh we'll load pre-battle and i'll just kill them on the campaign map i guess But tier 3 port is crazy. It's because there's a bug as well. I mean, again, I'm just charging in like I don't know. Let's just load up that first save and just kill him on the campaign map and be done. Uh, tier 3, 4 is too crazy. You basically do no damage on it and they have, because there's so many units have routed and retreated back. Um, hopefully it's not crashed. The game just doesn't want me to finish it. It doesn't want me to put it down, you know. But please, no. Please play more. Let's just start four. Let's close it, reload, re up it. <laughs> Why is it? It's open on my other monitor. Why would you do that? immediately and hopefully just kill them on the campaign map is the plan the plan of action because there's just too many cannons oh i went to the main menu i'm a moron jackie sort your life out leave the battle pull back Yeah, they just have too much cannon. And they take no damage on them stone parts of a wall. It'd be cool if like, they could collapse and you could actually like charge up them. That'd be dope. Okay, cool. Does this win me yet? The king and country? It's so close! It's so close!
Back in the fight, boys! No, they won! Oh, they just ran and took that as well. Fuck off. Oh, this is so dumb. Anything else I can bring? Can't fight them in that fort though. It's too good. Like, it's literally too good. Uh, so maybe we just don't charge, we just shoot them. We're slowly just grinding them down, I think. Problem is, they still have like a lot of men still here as well. It's the annoying thing. Inside this four, we took all of that back. Yeah, cool. We'll call it there. Like that tier three four is just annoying. I could just replenish, go back and take it, but it's gonna take forever. Uh, so yeah, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's stream and this American General American Revolution let's play. Really awesome. I had so much fun playing it. Can't wait for the next update. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll return, of course, with this game when when it does get there so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed drop a like drop a comment down below it really helps out the channel uh obviously new videos every day new video tomorrow uh and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching